Hi, my name is Eric Sanleaf, and the African poem that I chose for the video response is The First Circle by Kofi Awunwar. The First Circle is taken from a collection of work of his work called The House by the Sea, which he wrote in 19, which he published in 1978. So to begin with, I want to talk a little bit about the history of the poem and the history of the author. Originally known as George Awunor Williams, uh, Kofi was born in Weta, Ghana on March 13th, 1935. He changed his name <clears throat> to Kofi Awunor to be closer to his African roots and not to have a colonial name. Over the years, Awunor distinguished himself academically and eventually journeyed to the United States, where he assumed the role of an English professor for the State University of New York at Stony Brook. In 1975, he returned to Ghana and taken on the teaching position as an English professor at the University of the Gold Coast. It was during this time that Awunor encouraged an unfortunate turn, uh, encountered an unfortunate turn of events. In the closing days of 1975, Awunor was apprehended on December 31st by the military government led by Ashampong. Uh, General Ashampong, who overtook the government at that time. His arrest was linked to his, to um, Kofi's association with helping a political fugitive ex-brigadier Kata, who was accused in plotting to overthrow the government. Consequently, Awunur was confined to Usher Ford Prison and was held there for nearly a year until October of 1976. During this time in incarceration, he exhibited remarkable resilience by writing his poems on toilet paper. These poems and others he wrote after his release, later formed into a body of work titled The House by the Sea, offering a reflection of his imprisonment experience. Owner's poetry, characterized by themes of exile, death, and solitude, expressed his profound capacity of art to transcend and deliver us the vivid, true images of life's adversities. This poem interested me because it opened up Owner's dark experience of being imprisoned in his home country. Overall, Eleanor inspires me because he not only endured, but thrived academically, politically, and creatively. Emerging as a poet and academic who set a shining example for all who encounter his story. With this said, I'd like to read the First Circle poem by Kofi Eleanor. First Circle. The flat end of sorrow here, two crows fighting over New Year's party, leftovers. From my cell I see a cold, hard world. So this is the abscess that hurts the nation, jails, torture, blood, and hunger. One day it will burst. It must burst. When I heard you were taken, we speculated, those of us at large, where you would be. In what nightmare would you star? That night I heard the moans, wondering whose child could now be lost in the cellars of oppression. Then you emerged tall and bloody-eyed. It was the first time I wept. The long nights I dread most, the voices from behind the bars, the early glow of dawn before the guard steps wake me up, the desire to leap and stretch and yawn in anticipation of another dark homecoming day only to find that I cannot. Riding the car into town, hemmed in between them, their guns poking me in the ribs, I never had known that many that my people were such sad faces, so sad that they were on New Year's Eve, so very sad. Thank you.